hello guys how are you all i hope all are good so guys today we'll see uh, like uh, means i got question guys regarding like how we can see the our transaction and all in raise up for example if they are using api keys of this like uh, API keys of their Razorpay account, then how, where they can see all the transaction means how much tran transaction are done and how much they received the payment, how much they have done refunds and all. So how they can check? Okay, so that only I'll show you guys today. Uh, this comment I got in my video guys, so that only I'm doing. Okay, so let's start it. So you can see guys, this is your normally account. Okay, here also you can see guys. Here you can see payment for overview. You can see here that is collected amount and refund how much. Then orders also you can see here, and you can see range also. See right now there is not uh, nothing I have received. So it is showing nothing for October and till November fifth. Okay, nothing I have received. And payment failure. So it will show the failed payment as well as refund failure. You can see here refund account. Sorry, refund count. How many counts? How many payments are refunded? And payment count. How many payment you received? Here you will see the overall. Okay, like it's like a dashboard. Okay, if you want to see exactly where, how much amount and all, so you can see guys here. Go in transaction. Okay, so if you come here, you can see here the received amount of today. If you want to see last day, you can see last day, thirty days, ninety days, everything you can see here. Here you can see the collected amount, and here you can see the refunds, then disputes and failed. Okay, so if you go here, view all here, you will see all the details of refunds. Okay, and here you can see the refund ID also, payment ID also created. For example, suppose if you have you have done refund amount to your customers, okay, and if they called you and they say. Like uh, I did not got the amount uh, refunded amount and all that time you can check guys here you can see and you can tell the refund ID also payment ID also you can tell them and you can tell the uh, you can send screenshot also we have already refunded it will take some time or it, you can see a status also whether it is refunded or not that also you can see and you can tell to your customers okay so this is a good guys because here we can see everything right. Fine. So failed amount also for that also guys here. If you go here, go back. I'll go back. Mm, okay, you can see guys disputes. How much? How many are in disputes? That also you can see in view all. Here also you will get all the details. And if you go here in failed, you can check the failed amount also. For example, if any this this is useful for how you know guys. Suppose if any customer he is paying you. Okay, and for some reason uh, that amount get failed and all, so that time you can see guys here. Okay, this you can see the amount status also. You can see reason. You can see customer drops off. Here it is telling it means from customer side it is a uh, drop off. He only failed. Okay, so that also you can see. And suppose if any the reason is there, that also you can see, and you can call them guys because you will get customer details also. You will get number, and you can call them and you can tell them like, please do once again. Uh, maybe because of server or uh, what uh, any other reason it get failed and all. So this is good guys. Like uh, you can track your customers also, and you can receive more amount if it if you fail. That also you, you will check and you can receive more amounts. Okay. So this is also one of the good idea I can say. Okay. So this is about the failed, okay, and okay. You can see here overall all the received amount and all the refunds, all the failed, everything you will see here, guys, in this payments. And here, uh, here you will see the collected amount same as I told you already. Collected amounts, refund disputes, then the amount created. Attempted, attempted. This is this is paid. You can see the status. He both have paid. This is only attempted, but not paid. Means it got failed. I have shown you right now, guys. That is failed a month three fifteen. That only it is okay. So here two time attempted, but it is failed. So that time we can call them. It is failed. Here it is created only. Okay. So here it is also paid. So all the details we will get, guys. If you are using Razorpay for your business, then it is very good, guys. Very good, I can say. You will track all the things, okay? Okay, this is the thing, guys. And if you go in settlements, here you can see the current balance, settlement due date, date uh, due today, previous settlement, how much it is, upcoming settlement. You can see here everything. You will see, okay? And here you can see the created 
settlement ID, UTI number, net set, how much amount should get settled and all that also you will see here. So this is the thing guys, here you will see all the details and you will get all the idea. You can call your customers for any failed amount and all. If you want to see the refunds, that also you can see here. Okay. So I hope guys, this is useful for you guys, what I told. And I think I have cleared all the things, right? Because the question was this only where I can see all the details. So this is the thing guys. Okay. Suppose if you have any question, I, if I miss anything in this, then guys, you can comment. I'll make one more video or I'll make short video for that. So guys, okay. So fine guys, uh, if you liked my videos and if you're liking my videos, because I will bring more interesting videos guys regarding Rails or Pain or the programming language also. So guys, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much guys. Keep supporting me.